I'm Stevie Claesson from Halkans Rockhouse in Stockholm, Sweden, and we're at the Great Scandinavian Guitar Show. Here I'm going to show you people at Vintage and Rare a couple of cool guitars we got up for sale at the moment. The first one I chose today is the 1967 Epiphone Excellente. Since we're having an Epiphone theme this year. This is one of the rarest acoustics from the um, Epiphone line. It was actually the top of the line. I mean, uh, Rosewood back and sides, um, spruce top, X bracing, with all the like, same tune as that's what you find on the Gibson L5. Really cool guitar this. Reminds me a little bit of the sound of like a Martin D28 or something like that. And this is like in like, I've been dealing guitars for like 30 years and change. I've seen two of these. This is the second one I've seen in all these years. You know. hard to fall in love with this guitar. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. It's so damn cool. You know. And this guitar could be yours. <laughs> My next choice, is, since we're having the Epiphone theme, is a 1962 Epiphone Coronet, which is like one of my favorite guitars out of the Epiphone line while Gibson was making them. Uh, I, I guess I like it so much just because Steve Marriott from when he was in Humble Pie used to play one. That he actually later on took the scratch plate from and put on his Les Paul Jr. Uh, this guitar I got from a, quite a famous Swedish rock star who's owned it. Um, I got the original bridge in the case, but it's got a more modern bridge on it. And it's almost in tune. <laughs> Ah, no brakes on it. Yeah, it actually has a small little repair here by the jack socket thing. But apart from that, no neck things, very good condition. Nice fat chunky neck. Yeah, can you say? It speaks for itself. choice. This is really hip. This is I got from the original owner, a 1955 Gibson Les Paul Custom Black Beauty from the original owner. Everything is original on it. Nothing's been changed. It's had a small little crack that's been fixed on the headstock. That actually, I think that the, the crack <laughs> happened when they brought the guitar to the shop because the case fell over. They had never seen the crack before. But it's been fixed and you can't really see it unless somebody tells you about it. Uh, it's very rare to find a guitar that comes from the original owner, you know. There's lo lots of old pictures from the guy playing it in the 50s. So I also got the original, the amp with it. Um, can't remember which model it is, but unfortunately the amp is not for sale. I already sold that. But this, yes, it's a real beauty. Um, comparing to what, like, what you pay for, like, Les Paul standards and gold tops, I think that the customs are like fairly affordable, you know. Shame we don't have an amp here, I could plug it in and play a couple of licks on it. They call these guitars the fretless wonders because they have very small frets on them, but I suppose one could give it a refret if one, you know, if one wanted to. But that's a really cool piece. Well, this has just got to be the ultimate electric guitar, a Fiesta Red 60s Fender Stratocaster. This here is a 1962. 
It, uh, it has had some refin done on the body, but it was originally a Fiesta Red. It still has all the original paint in all the cavities and stuff. Somebody had taken the paint off it probably in the early 70s when it was very popular to have guitars that were like clean wood. So they, somebody had taken all the paint off, but they hadn't taken the scratch plate off. So this paint is original underneath there and underneath there. Um, it's got all, all the parts original on it, nothing's been changed on it. The only thing that's been done is that it's, the body's been refilmed, but we haven't refilmed it in the cavities. And this is probably the best sounding strat we have at the moment. We, right now I think we have six or seven pre-CBS strats for sale. But this is the one, and also this collar is just, you know, it's just electric guitar. This is what they look like. It's the Fiesta Red 62 strat. about it. So, Hank B. <laughs> we gotta do something for all you bass players out there. Looking in on vintage and rare. This is a nice collector's piece. 100% original, 1966, found the, found the jazz bass, uh, matching half stock, tulip tuners, very rare for like, you know, I think they only did them 66, 67. And it also got the neck with binding and dots, so it's before the block markers. It's just so cool, this bass. I actually got this and the 65 Lake Placid Blue P bass from the same collection. I sold the P bass, it went to France, but this is still for sale. But they were so cool together, they were like a cute couple. Great. Speaks for itself. Check it out. Outcomes Rock House. Thank you.